All right, individual prayer partners, we are in our uh, fourth final video here. Uh, We're going to be looking at the uh, prayer event calendar, the church's information, and then also uh, non-member prayer requests. Again, top two buttons tell you everything you need to know about the prayers of the church. Middle two buttons tell you everything you need to know about the people who are doing the praying. And so let's get to the prayer calendar. Uh, click on that lower button button there on the left hand side and this is just a really neat feature within the prayer app so uh, any leader in the church can put in um, items uh, that they would like the congregation to pray for events activities coming up and uh, just real quick one of my favorite features throughout the whole app is this little print button right here um, so you can print out any of this information um, so, for example, we have uh, scheduled here, you see, oh, there's a uh, fundraiser for National uh, Youth Gathering. So you click on that, there's the information, there's a contact person, email, phone number. Uh, obviously, so you can pray for the person, uh, you can reach out to them, connect with them, uh, see if there's something you can do to help, uh, offer, uh, whatever the case might be. Uh, if you want to look at... Um, a month at a time you can click on uh, the month button you want to look at uh, the month before you click on that button uh, you want to look at uh, a couple months down the road yeah you click on the forward button uh, if you want to look at one day at a time uh, you click on that you want to get back to today uh, click on this um, you want to go back to a week click on that so it's uh, very versatile uh, functional it's very simple and um, with this then you are able to uh, see what's coming up pray for these things it, it builds uh, the communication uh, strengthens the communication within the congregation and um, so when people are going to the prayer app to see who they're praying for then they're also going there to see what ministries of the church they're praying for uh, and it just helps to build um, the connections between the members and the congregation so that's the prayer event calendar and then uh, here's your church button you click on this and maybe you you know you want some information about your church you need the mailing address uh, there's a picture of your church up there so if you want to show what your church looks like to somebody you can do that uh, church's website uh, Facebook page if it wants to include that phone numbers worship times and this is for, again for the house church in Newark that we're planting and uh, uh, pastor's name and phone number so pretty simple um, and then w one last thing to point out to you also is that one of the features of the app is uh, it's designed for people who are not church members to make prayer requests and uh, we are seeing this happening where you know people are looking for somebody to pray for them uh, they're, they're, they're on the internet uh, looking up the topic of prayer and we have had this happen already where people who have no connection with the church find the prayer app and uh, then they'll put in the zip code and so this is what it looks like for a non-church member uh, to put in a prayer request they just simply put in the zip code and so if it's your zip code where your church is listed in the network then uh, your church would come in and there's the share your prayer button they, they click on that and then they uh, see your church's information and so it's nice you have a picture of your church that's loading up there you have the church's contact information pastor's name um all that's right there and then uh, they just simply click on the prayer request button right there and they put in their prayer request and uh, what's their relationship with the church are they a member visitor community or other whatever they want to click click submit and then it goes automatically into that church's prayer database and the pastor is sent an uh, automatic email saying that uh, this prayer request has come in and uh, the prayer coordinator also gets an automatic email saying that prayer request has come in and then the database is automatically updated so then you as an individual prayer partner next time you log in the information's uh current when you go in and you see this prayer request and um, so that kind of brings me to the final closing thought which is that uh, this prayer app is definitely about helping your church better serve members visitors and the community and um, 
you know, we, we, we pray for that to happen, but it's, it's about more than that. It's about helping your church to be the church wherever you are. And so with this app, you know, as you're traveling, for example, whether that's around town, across the state or across the country, you, uh, have a chance from time to time, you know, you're talking with somebody and they say, hey, would you pray about this? And you can say, yes, uh, be happy to pray for it. And then you can ask the person, would it be okay with you if I shared this prayer request with a local church that would like to pray for you and care for you? And if they say yes, you can use the prayer app to connect them to a local church um, that would do that. And so that way then you bless them and uh, you bless uh, that local church. And, uh, and that's just really neat because that's what God's desire is. God's desire is for his house to be a house of prayer for all the nations. And, and where is his house located? Well, you're, you are. You are the temple of the living Lord. And so we want to help you to be the church uh, wherever you are. I pray God's richest blessings on your ministry as an individual prayer partner, on your church's prayer ministry. If there's ever anything that we can do to help you, please don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, thoughts, ideas, please don't hesitate to share those and uh, again I just pray God's richest blessings upon you and yours and your ministry